What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Abby and I just pulled up to the main Recycle Video Games location here in North Bend, Oregon. It's right across the street there. It's like way back in the corner. So, sorry. We're gonna head in, see what we can find, do some filming, and show you guys whatever we pick up. It's not raining today, at least not yet, which is nice. So, we might be able to show you guys the stuff as we pick it up at the car. Yesterday it was raining all day, so we waited until we got to the hotel, but we should be home tonight. We have to be. <laughs> so, let's go in and take a look. So we're in the back room here checking stuff out, and this is crazy, guys. Look at all these boxed games. <laughs> so far I've picked out these. We're going to get some prices on, but those are some good ones. There's like all sorts of PS2, there's more on the other side of this. There's another back room with like Xbox and stuff that's, she calls it the Willy Wonka room. <laughs> it's really small, but this is awesome. So we're gonna pick out a bunch of stuff. We'll do some more filming, of course, like I said, and we'll, you know, show you guys what we come across. <laughs> so crazy. This is crazy, guys. This is the back room, and look at the stuff that they have back here. And then long box games. Two, two Arc Lad collections. Of course, they're so crazy. This is so crazy. So we left the last Recycle Video Games. We were going to head down to the fourth location, but it was another two hours south. It's almost in California. Um, and we decided to skip that one because we stayed way too long at the first and we were there for like four hours. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the stuff that we picked up, show you guys what we grabbed. And we're actually outside of another video game store right now called Video Games Plus in Roseburg, Oregon. And we're gonna be heading in here right after we show you guys this stuff. We tried to film outside of Recycle, but it was right on the road and it was way too loud, so go through it now. So we have Resident Evil Outbreak file number two, that was 10 bucks. We have Raw Danger, that was $8. Cold Fear for Xbox, five bucks. A couple copies of Hulk Ultimate Destruction for PS2, those were five each. Neo Contra for 10. We picked up another copy of Dual Hearts. The first one we grabbed was 25. This one was marked at 50, but Sam wanted that one for his collection, so I just grabbed it for him. We got our disc of Armored Core that uh, she didn't ship. <laughs> we got a water damaged manual for Tony Hawk 3. It's not, the pages aren't stuck together, uh, but that was only two bucks. Then for three bucks or five bucks, whatever it was, we got NBA In The Zone 2000 manual. That's also for Sam, that completes his box. He's been looking for that manual for a long time, and it's really expensive to buy it separately, so he's really, really happy, and I'm, I'm glad that we were able to help him get that for five bucks. Picked up two copies of Nightmare of Druaga. These were seven each. And then for the collection, we got factory-sealed copies of Killer7 and Fatal Frame 2 for PS2. This was 45 and 35. And then we have Gun Valkyrie for Xbox for eight. Two copies of Ninja Assault for seven each. Bloody Roar 3, I think that was seven or eight. Vampire Knight, that was 10. 
getting up. That was two. I'm trying to save some of the better stuff for last. Two copies of Beyond Good or Evil for five each. Extermination for five. Gungrave Overdose for eight. Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories for ten. Two more copies of Extermination. Manhunt 2 for 5, Raw Danger again for 8, Beat Down for 8, two copies of Nightshade for 9 each, another Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast for 5 bucks, R-Type Final for 10, Crimson Tears for 10, Predator Concrete Jungle for Xbox for 13, Buffy the Vampire Slayer for 5, Auto Modalista for GameCube for eight bucks. This is for the collection. This is almost like a $40 game. Another Extermination and Gallop Racer 2013 for five. And now getting into the good stuff here. We got a box and manual only for Big Mountain 2000 for $8. For the collection, a complete River City Ransom for NES for 50. Got this clear Neo Geo Pocket Color complete in box. This is a European version, and this is for the collection. Abby wanted this one. We got that for $125. We got a complete copy of NBA In The Zone 2000 for 15 bucks. That's crazy. We picked up God Hand for 45 And then for the collection, we picked up Kuan for PS2. This was 300 This was pretty much retail, but we were getting good enough prices on the other stuff that I wanted to get that one for the collection because it's the most expensive game we didn't have yet for PS2. And then lastly, we got Worms Armageddon for 100 and Stunt Racer 64 for 80 bucks. We're gonna have to replace the back on it, but still. So, really, really awesome stuff all around. I'm really happy with what we were able to pick up. And, uh, you know, some of the prices, like we said before, some of the prices are kind of high, but if you really know what you're looking for, you can find some really good deals. And I think that's what we did. We got a ton of stuff and I think we got really good prices on everything. So we're gonna head in to Video Games Plus right here and check it out. Don't really know what to expect. We've never been here, but a friend of ours just picked up a complete in box Bonk's Adventure from here for NES. And we don't know what he paid, but I don't think he would have bought it if it was just full retail. So I'm hoping that the prices are pretty good. So let's head in. I'm gonna film if they'll let me and we'll check it out. So here it is, and then right next door, they probably own this place too, but it's Level Up Frozen Yogurt. And look at all the artwork in the windows. I don't know if you can see very well, it's kind of bright out here, but it's all video game stuff, so looks pretty awesome. This place is huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh god. So we only bought a couple games in there, guys. Abby grabbed Nino Kuni 2 for her new PS4. It's sealed. And I grabbed Super Spy Hunter for the NES. It was 20 bucks. It's like a $30 game, so there's not too much profit, but anytime we get in like uncommon NES games like that, they always sell right away. Um, didn't really film too much in there. It's really big, but it's like, it's really open, so I didn't want to film any other people. And their prices were good, but they wouldn't negotiate at all. And they didn't have too much as far as retro stuff goes, so I couldn't find too much that I was interested in, unfortunately. Um, I don't know where else we're going. It's getting kind of late. We might just be heading home. Not sure. Yeah, I think so. But we'll see what happens, and it's going to be a long drive. We are at our last stop, guys. This is the Goodwill Computers store. This is here in Eugene, Oregon. And it sucks. Well, we found some really good stuff here before, but... Pri prices have been going, prices have been getting higher and higher, so we'll see what we can find. Yellow tags, half off. You want that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cartridges at a goodwill. And they're all too expensive. <laughs> You want a third party GameCube controller for $20? <laughs> it's ridiculous. We have so many games here. We're finding a few things, but it's hard. You really gotta know what to look for. Some of the prices are not great. Five for a dollar, Abby. I think these Beatrice. are all like horror ones. Um, are they? I don't know. I guess more like sexual horror. <laughs> this one looks like it's it's got Christopher Walken in it. Five for a dollar, though. That's so crazy. We're about to load up. Good times home video. <laughs> so we just left that Goodwill with a major haul here. So. Get that set up somewhere. My hair is such a mess today. All right. I dropped that. Ugh. Got so, a huge pile of memory cards. These were these are all first party except for one, but it was like a dollar. No, I'm keeping them. No. Yes. No. Yep, I bought them. I keep them. We need somewhere to put this. <laughs> Here. All right. Okay, I'm gonna move because it's starting to rain. All right, so we got a bunch of video games here. Yellow tags were half off. So we have Alice Madness Returns. That was half off. We have Super Smash Brothers Brawl for 10. Sealed Rock Band 2 for 5. Uh, Battlefront 2 for 750. SNK Arcade Classics for 750. Capsule Monster Coliseum for 5. Rugrats for 5. Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition for 5. Ephemeral Fantasia for 5. Smash Bros. Disc only for 10. Super Mario Galaxy for 10, Mario Galaxy 2. Dirt 3 for 5, Goblin Commander for 10, no manual though. Sorry Jackie. Crime Life Gang Wars for 5. And then, some plushies here. They were between $1 and $2 each. These are all just gonna be for the store. Steven, here's our receipt. <laughs> Super long. Uh, Civilization 2 for PS1 for 5. A couple Xbox 360 Connects for 5 each. Three official black nunchucks for 5 each. A few Rock Band and Guitar Hero dongles for 5 each. A black Game Boy Advance SP for 25. It's a 001 model, but we tested it and it works. Didn't come with a charger though. Rock Band pedal for five. Game Boy 2 GameCube link cable for five. And then some random stuff for eBay and Amazon. We got a Panasonic pencil sharpener, an eye clicker, this little brother thing of tape, this remote, this little puzzle. Oh, and then these little colored diskette things. These are two bucks. And then they, I didn't know they were doing this, but VHS and cassette tapes are five for a dollar. So we picked out a bunch here. Um, so I'm not gonna list off, I'm not gonna list them all off, but I'll just show them to you like this. So five so for a dollar. Yeah, not too much horror. Uh, we did find some, but a couple anime ones. I thought it was super cool. Nothing super crazy, like I said, but it's, you know, good stuff for the store. Mario Bros. movie in there. And then, lastly, 
we got a bunch of these sealed blank VHS. They did these for a buck each, and this is like 40 on eBay or Amazon. Like a dollar for the whole thing. Yeah, a dollar for the entire thing. These, they didn't have any on Amazon, like currently listed, but the rank was really good, which means they sell fairly often. So if I had to guess, I'd say they're probably like 25 to 30 each. So we are gonna make a ton of money off that stuff, and that is super awesome. Boosting up the VHS for the store with a bunch of new ones. Really cool stuff. We are going to be heading home now. Um, I don't know what else we're gonna be filming. We have a three hour, two or three hour drive till we get back home. We're probably gonna go and get some dinner first though. I'm starving. So let's see what we do. Hello delicious. I see you looking at me. That's a big one. We just left Red Lobster, had some good dinner. We have tons of leftovers, so we didn't eat even half of our food. <laughs> we were very hungry until we got here. So we have a two hour drive home and then we gotta go to bed. Obviously we gotta open up the store again tomorrow. Um, whenever we pick up a lot of cool stuff like this, we get a ton of messages about people asking about things. It's going to be a while before any of this stuff's available. We have, we have more inventory at the store that we haven't even worked on yet. And that is going to come before this stuff. So, um, just if you're, if you're interested in anything, just make sure you check our Facebook and our Instagram. We post pictures of the stuff that we put out each day. So, as they become available. yeah, as they become available as Abby just said. So um, if you're looking for anything we picked up, just wait until you see it in there and then you can contact us at that point if you'd like. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and end it here because we are just gonna drive home and then, and then get to bed. I'm driving Abby's car, she's tired. I drove the whole way here. Yeah, Abby drove like the whole time. So that's gonna be it guys, thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this this video and yesterday's video of our little game hunting road trip. We had a lot of fun, and I think yesterday's video came out really, really good. Obviously, I haven't edited this one yet, but um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this one as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, follow Abby on Instagram, and we'll see you tomorrow.